What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So this week I want to do something totally different that I haven't done on this channel. I want to do a what's in my bag. Now listen, what's in my bag was my first videos that I gravitated to on YouTube, right? And I remember like, it's funny because I thought I was the only person. From the time I was probably about 15, 16 years old, I remember getting in the car and asking my friends like, what do you have in your purse? We're going to a party. What's in your bag? And I really, they thought I was kind of strange. Like, why do you care what's in my purse? But to me, it was very intriguing, like, what women carry in their purses. And, like, maybe I need to carry toiletry wipes with me. Maybe I should have an ink pen in my purse. Maybe I should have this. But I also want to couple this with doing, like, a bag review. I don't have a ton of bags, but the bags I have really service me well. And I think that I can kind of combine a what's in my bag with a handbag review. So my first bag I'm going to do in this series is my new Chanel tote. I got this tote for my birthday. I'll show you guys some mod shots as well when I do the review. Um, but my husband purchased this for me. It was about $1,500 from Fashion File. Now listen, I'm a fan of vintage Chanel. And I think Chanel with gold hardware, if it's under $2,000 and it's in great condition, I'm going to purchase it. I don't remember off the top of my head the name of the bag, but I will put it below. And I, I, I feel like it's the extra large chain tote or something like that but i love this bag it's a nice crinkled leather and it just has the flap and i gravitated towards this because if you guys have seen the right now totes are having a moment big bags are, are back uh tiny bags are kind of out it was cute for a while but the girls really figured out we need to start carrying our stuff right and so um i think that totes are back but it's not the trapeze totes it's not the never full i have a chanel bag it's also vintage that's got that trapeze shape it's more of the 90s off-duty model shape and like i just got dressed effortlessly and i threw this tote bag on with all everything in it but the kitchen sink my whole life is in this bag and it has kind of an aesthetic to it right so when i saw the ysl bag which i think is about four thousand dollars and by the way that bag in person immaculate the leather is amazing if you're thinking about it or in the market for it i suggest you go to the store and check it out it's a good bag i'm not gonna hold you it's just well well made okay so i went on fashion file and i found this bag here and i was like okay i think this would work sent it to my husband as like a joke like i think i'm thinking about this bag and he purchased it for me so i was so excited so if you saw my birthday vlog you would have saw i think this bag in that haul so let's get into the what's inside my bag so the first thing I'm going to start with, this bag is hefty in size and it can get a bit overloaded. So an organizer is needed. I will link the one that I have below. It's not the Smorger, I think is the brand um, um, organizer. It's from a random Amazon organizer. And I do have it in like this hot pink color so I can see inside the bag. But it has tons of compartments, which I like when you're dealing with a bag this size, so that you can kind of compartmentalize all of your little bits and bobs and pieces. I'm not very organized, um, but this does help me a lot. It doesn't have any shape to it. So if I was to put like everything heavy, the bag would sink and it would be very kind of like obnoxious almost. There is no, um, and I may do a demonstration on like how that looks, but there is no closure and I didn't want the bag to sink so much that the bag doesn't close, if that makes sense. Now I do think there is a time and place where that could be a really nice aesthetic and a nice look, but for my day to day going to work, um, this is the way I carry it with the organizer. So let's get into it. So the first thing in my bag with being a content creator is my Canon G7X. This is my vlogging camera. I would like to get a Digi 3 or whatever that thing is, but I have invested in this. I'm using it now to do my reels on Instagram. If you're not following me there, please follow me over on Instagram. I'll put my handle below and I'll probably also be linked. Um, but I love this camera. It's been servicing me for Instagram for reels and I use it also for vlogging. And I usually just have it with me because you never know when you want to capture a moment. I'm finding out that my iPhone, which I think is a 14, I probably need to upgrade. Um, it's just not giving me the crisp quality that it used to. And we know Apple plays a lot of games, okay? So that's probably part of it. Um, I have my SD card reader. This is essential if you're going to transfer the files. I don't need this. My camera does have Wi-Fi and I can transfer over. But just in case there's an issue, I take this with me. Every now and again, I do stop at, um, from being creative, 
I'm doing the influencer thing where you go to a cafe, Panera Bread is probably my favorite, um, and just get a sandwich and just kind of sit in some space and just be a little creative versus sitting at home. So I usually carry all this stuff with me. Then I have my iPad, which is, I think, a sixth generation. It is older. I also refuse to upgrade this because it's working for the time being. Um, I do think I want to get a MacBook Air just so when I'm on vacation, it's easy to um, do my iMovie. Um, I do my editing for YouTube on iMovie. And I don't know, I'm having a small issue with it transferring over here to this. But anyway, the MacBook, I love this. It comes with a pen. This is not a MacBook cover. I think I'll put the cover and the pen below. Uh, this is a Logi keypad i love it and then i have a taurus i think ink pen for the to write on the tablet um i have a planner in here that i've downloaded and then i have the paper um cover so this feels like paper when you're writing on it i can't explain it so you're not writing on like a slippery screen it has a paper filter so it feels like you're writing on a crisp piece of paper. The next thing I have is my selfie light. This goes pretty much everywhere with me. Again, you never know where you're going to create content and where it's going to be. And then I have my fan because she's old. So I showed this in my vacation uh, review, but also I carry it with me pretty much anywhere. You just never know when you need like some air. It's hot, you know, so this goes with me a lot. Next is my wallet. Now listen. I can't wait to show you guys one of my smaller bags. But when I'm taking care of business, this is my taking care of business bag. And this is my taking care of business wallet. I am a grown lady and I got business. A little teeny card wallet is not always going to work. So I'm someone who has to work really hard at saving and things like that. So for a long time, I was doing the... Um, envelopes and so this wallet here i got from amazon which i link i love it it was a really great wallet i had a louis vuitton wallet i have a chanel um car wallet with a flap i'll show you when i do like a smaller bag review um love those things but sometimes you need your medical cards i have a child i have her medical cards in here my husband's medical cards um all of my credit cards i have um the the card the envelopes for the cash stuffing envelopes and so that was helping me out a lot with spending and i had different categories if i can show you guys without showing my information here but give you guys an idea so there were these it comes with these card slots on the inside and i could make a different category and put money in so i had miscellaneous eating out clothes hair care, beauty, and household. And so if I needed, for instance, dishwashing liquid for the house, I would go to the local Walmart. Oh, I have money in my household one. Let me pull, you know, $3 from there. I, beauty was me going to the beauty supply store. I need, you know, shampoo. I need conditioner. Oh, there's $25 in that pocket. So every every pay period, I would put money in those um, slots, and that's the money I would use. It just helped to keep you on track because you look through your... I'm not sure if you guys have done this. You go out on the weekend... You frivolously spend using your credit card or your card, and you're thinking to yourself, oh, I have, I only could have, I know I only spent about $100 this weekend. You get to work on Monday, you log in, and you're like, oh, I spent $670. What happened? So this really helped to keep me on track. Maybe you're more responsible, but I needed help, okay? So this is my grown lady wallet that I take when I mean business. Next thing is my two phones. I have a work phone and I have a regular phone. So these are always with me. The good thing about this, again, these pockets on the organizers, I can separate those two phones and it makes a world of difference when your phone is buzzing and ringing, okay? It's going to be sunglasses. Rain, sleet, or snow, I keep sunglasses with me. And right now I'm carrying this Gucci case, but I have the Quay shades that I showed you last week. These are like my work shades. They're just easy. Again, something that if I lost them or, Lord forbid, they got stolen, I wouldn't like be dying about it because they were like 60 60 dollar shades the next thing is my makeup bag if you guys have watched um a lot of people have done videos on these chanel holiday bags so this was a holiday purchase where i got like three lip glosses and the bag for a hundred dollars i love these you've probably seen the viral videos where people have put like um d rings here and made it into a bag this is so important because it just says Chanel. It doesn't say Chanel Beauty. It just says Chanel. And even the zipper is gold and it just says Chanel on it. So I love that. If you want to see a what's in my 
uh, makeup bag. We can do a separate review for that. Um, because I think those are interesting too. Like, what are you carrying with you, like, day to day? And it's a lot of little bits and bobs in here. The next couple of things are just boring things. So I have some hand sanitizer that will not fit in my makeup bag. I have my car keys, which they are plentiful. They're, they're huge janitor keys. <laughs> and then I have two combs, hence that I have short hair. So I carry these two combs with me. One is a styling comb, and then one is just a thin rat tail comb because I need to like really get a good style in because you just never know. Um, what I love about this organizer though is it does have like different pockets. Um, I'll link some below that I think are great. So I'm able to kind of split things up inside this bag. So I've had this bag now for probably, let me see, February, March, April. Um, so almost about two months. And I love it. I love everything about it. I've carried it in the rain, which I love. And I was in the snow as well. And because of this vinyl material, I didn't feel like anything was going to like harm the bag. Um, it is really big and it can get really heavy if you stuff it. And I know that seemed like a lot, but when that's balanced properly and the organizer kind of helps with that, when it's balanced properly, it's fine. When I did try to put all those things in when I first got it without the organizer, the bag was just not leveled properly. Things were topsy-turvy. This really helped keep everything together. And I thought about buying a smaller organizer um, that won't be as big. So one of the downsides to the bag, I will say, is the chain strap, right? It's chained all the way around. I do believe, and I'll look it up, I'll try to put it below what year this bag was uh, put out for Chanel. But if you notice now, most tote bags come with like either a leather insert here. That's because this tends to dig into your skin. I have I haven't worn it in the summertime yet because I have it hasn't the weather's just changing here. But with this jacket, it's totally fine because it's leather and then it catches it on this lapel thing here. If I wear my Target um, flight jacket, bomber jacket, that's a little bit more of a silky material and it's a little harder. I, I find myself constantly, you know, putting it back on my shoulder. But other than that, that's probably the only design fail that I can find with the bag. Uh, it does have an inside um, closure where you can kind of snap it closed there for some little extra security. And it does have a really big inside pocket. Like the pocket is so big. Let's see. I can't get my tablet in there, but my wallet, which is a nice size, will fit in here just fine. Like you can see the top of it. So I love that about this bag. And again, my organizer has so many things. It also comes with this key holder. I don't have to use my keys. Most of my cars are automatic, like push to start. Um, my front door is coded. So this is just like for when I'm feeling sick. This is the little Bix inhaler thing. <laughs> so I don't lose it. I keep it attached to this. So I do love the bag. I think that it is a really great addition to my collection and it's a different tote again all my other totes with that trap piece style like the never fool and this was the first one that i had that was made like a messenger bag and for years i've kind of stayed away i will say messenger bag totes are hard to find the right one because you don't want to look like a paper boy and it can go left really quickly right so luckily this one was a good one if i find any i'll link them below and i'll show you guys some mod pics and i'll give you guys the dimensions as well in those mod pics and i'll see you guys next time